Yo, yo, what up? It's your boy Shane Sparks. Welcome to Planet Dance. It's been a minute. I feel like I've been gone for like 10 years, but it ain't been that long. Yo, I got a lot to talk about today. But first, I want to apologize real quick because there's some crazy stuff going on at the X Factor that's really trippy, trippy, trippy. But I was going to have my boy Josh come in and um, it got canceled. But the way Hollywood rose... Um, Dreams do come true, so we'll see what happened. But he can't come in today because some special stuff happened. So next week I'll bring him on here and he can explain everything that's going on. So hopefully y'all tune in where well, y'all better tune in because it's going to be a great, great show. And I'd rather wait and get the full information than to do it half step. OK, so that's what's up with me today. Shane Sparks. I got a special person in the building today. Um, This crazy dance world is like. Oh, God, so much going on. And as a kid, I grew up watching certain things, doing certain things, learning from certain people. And you know how you just pick up stuff and you just really never know where it comes from. Or you meet people and they tell you this, they tell you that. Well, sometimes you run into people that kind of know a little bit more about it than you do. And a little bit more about it than a lot of people say they do. So I got my boy... Bop and Andre in the building. And if you know anything about this dance world, you're probably going crazy in your seat right now. I know Free probably just fell out his <laughs> fell out <laughs> fell out the, the bins. <laughs> he probably just crashed into a truck or something. <laughs> Yo, but um I want to introduce my boy Bop and Andre. And he actually actually brought a friend with him today. I want to get a little bit into his head too. Boodabop. So what's Buddha Bop. Buddha Bop. I never met Buddha Bop before. This is my first time, so I'm sure it's going to be crazy. Dre, how you feeling? Ah, oh, man, I'm good. I'm good, people. Yo, it's good to have you here. Buddha Bop, how you feeling? I'm great, man. How you doing? I'm great. I'm All glad right. you came down. Thank you. I, I don't know. A lot of people don't know me. You know, they just know I was on the dang on TV show, and that's just a little inch of what I am and who I am. And I live this dance world so much from the age of probably like four years old. I've been I've been dancing and I was never taught. I just watched and learned. Oh, yeah. Movies came out and I just saw something that I liked and I just kept practicing, kept practicing. I wore Chings, the little leather band with yes. the circles on it, mm -hmm. probably for ten years when I was, you know, okay. I would go to a wedding, Breaking. you know, for yeah. real, you know what Breaking. I'm saying? We we copied everything and people don't even understand. I was like, dude, I wonder when Chings are gonna come back. They done brought the hammer pans back. They brought so much mm -hmm. stuff. They breathed the Chings back. Cause you remember the effect that Chings had yes. when you were hit and you were shot? Ah! <laughs> I missed that so much, but I would go to a wedding. I would go to school. I would go to a party. Everywhere I went, I either had on knee pads or had on my chings because I never knew when I was going to battle. Yeah. That's how that's how crazy it is to me. Now that I've gotten older, you know, we done traveled around, we did the TV stuff. People think like, oh, you're just a TV personality. I'm not. That TV personality came from years and years and years of loving what I do. And when you get around people who see that passion, they want to put you in front of the camera so you can push that out there because people want to hear from a person that's really been through it. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't go out and battle... I, I talked to um, Pop and Pete one day, yeah. and we sitting at Millennium, and we just tripping, we talking, talking, talking. He was like, "Dude, how come you never freeze that? How come you never?" I was like, "Pete, if you knew how long I've been dancing, when I when I was in Cincinnati, every day of my life was catered to battling." I freestyled, battled, danced in my basement, danced in school. I would go from my school, leave at lunchtime to go to another school because they had a three-hour lunch break to battle, to dance. I did that so much of my life. You know what I mean? It's the, that's not what my fire is no more. My fire now is to basically make something of the dance world, yeah. make something of myself in the it. dance world, and contribute and give what I have to the up-and-coming because – we all need to battle. That's where that's where that instinct yes. come from. You yeah. know, we all have to do that. But at the end of the day, you have to use that gift that you've been given to to ex to sprinkle it back to the to the to the youth yeah. and the people that are coming up yeah. and to the world. You know, because it's a lot going on. So it's like crazy. I've been wanting wanting to have this conversation for a long, long time with just the the, the dance world, but I never really had the opportunity. So now that we've connected and we've been running to each other, like <laughs> every time we go out, we bump into each other. But everything is about timing. 
It's all about timing. And right now, I think it's beautiful. So I wanted to bring you on the show today and talk to you about some of the things that you've experienced, what you love about this, what you hate about it, who's hot, who's not, and, you know, who inspires you. I just want to go through all the stuff, things that's in my brain, things that other people you ask know. You question, I'll answer, man. And these are in my brain. Okay. My first, first question is, who inspires you as a dancer? Well, old school, new school, like from you know what I mean. All right, there's no, it's no, uh, it's no, it's no real hard fact finding for me. Simply because uh, anytime I tell people something, I don't try to elaborate on nothing but what I seen through my eyes as to be the truth. So trust right. me, anything I'm saying, I believe in it. Whether it be somebody else's perspective, right? It's gonna, it feels like to me, I'm only telling the truth. You get right, what I'm saying? Right, right. So, I feel you. So let me start this one. My first inspiration. I honestly came from some uh, TV shows, uh, Dick Van Dyke, some lady doing Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, the robot she did. Mm -hmm. If you go look at a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang part, you'll see he came out as a puppet and the lady came as a robot, you know, mm -hmm. in a little mirror claim. And if, and if I had a clip or you go find that clip, right. you're going to be, when you see people say they're doing a the robot and ticking, I used to tell people I started ticking because I knew where I got it from. This first time they saw me, I was only pioneering it because I got it from the lady right. on that picture. Now, who wow. taught her? I can't tell you who taught her. Right, right. But... I, I would I would actually in the streets say nigga I invented ticking because nobody was doing it before I did it in the streets. Right, even right, coming right. Here to L.A., but I saw that on that show, and that show is a very old show. We talking that show is like fifty nine, fifty seven, something like that, and so that's yes. a very old show. Chitty Chitty mm -hmm. Bang Bang, y'all. That lady, look at her. She's bad. She's the one doing that ticking. You in think front that of would be mirror. online? It is online. Oh, what, what would is, you call it? It's Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. You got the the robot lady and or ticking lady and. And uh, uh, she's called a doll. She's called a the you know how them little wind up dolls they used yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's called a music box. It's music called a music box. box. So chitty chitty, chitty, chitty bang, bang bang music box. box. We type, yes. Can you type that in for us? Type that in. Chitty you'll, chitty you'll, bang you'll, bang you'll, music you'll trip box. Trip on that. And, and I'm glad you said that because it's funny that. You, it, so many people say they created and discovered and did this and did that. Yes. And then you watch something <laughs> and then you look back and you be like, wow, that was like in the 40s. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's so crazy. There are there are and I will re say this too. There are a few things, and I do mean few things, that were definitely not done in the past that we do now. Right, I've seen definitely. I've seen some. But the the thing is is there's a, a basics of where it started from mm -hmm. that had been done in the past. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, like right. there are, there are some people in the past that did some of the things we're doing now much better. We ain't even mm. caught up to that. Like we lost it. Like right. this this one dude when we call this thing the moonwalk backslide thing, right, there was right. a dude who could do this so well, he looked like he could stand still and be floating and can move anywhere he want to. Right. I remember his name later on, but trust me, there's a clip on he's on a piano bar like just knocking it out. And nobody, I mean nobody <laughs> wow. that I've ever seen since that clip could ever do that. Not to this day. Okay, now I don't know if he was just a crippled nigga and he moved a certain way. I don't know, <laughs> right. but the nigga was bad. Now, right. but there are also some people now who have taken basics of what they've seen right. and have advanced that. Exactly. So though you can find a person who said they created something, the new person sometimes, there is the, there's this misnomer. Just because you create something don't mean you're the best at it. Right. But also, just because you're the best at it don't mean you created it. Let's, right. get, let's right. get that Vice versa. Exactly. There are people who start a basics, they begin, and then there are people who take that to another advance. And there's mm -hmm. some people who don't even take it to advance, but they go a whole different route. It just looks different. Right, They're trying right, in their right. brain to look like it, but right. they look different. Mm -hmm. Right? That's just how it go. No, so, definitely. That's a, that's a fact. So inspiration, mm -hmm. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Lady from the robot part at him uh, Dick Van Dyke from doing a puppet I actually use pieces of that mime like a clown thing yeah. to come up with illusions like miming and whatever. And then of course later on Everybody and his mama could tell you from where they were. Of course, they weren't telling me that when I was growing up because I had to look at it myself. Like like you said, right. nobody didn't teach me. I was looking and I had to bring my inspiration for what I saw. Right, right. So I could I could like I'm self taught. So mm -hmm. when I looked at like uh, and but there was a reason for it. So let me give you even my reasons. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. There was a thing out at one point. 77, 76, it was called a vibrate. I don't know who created the vibrate, okay? Mm -hmm. People have been doing it for a long time, just like the robot. I don't know nobody, no nigga in the streets, no hood, nowhere, who could say he created the robot. It's right. so old. Right. Your grandmama, 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 grandmama know the robot. Right. But there are people who got good at it and got a reputation for that. Right. Well, the vibrate is like that, too. You know, just a shake, yeah. stand still and shake. Mm -hmm. Well, there was this dude called Robot Dane of the Electric Boogaloos who mm -hmm. came up to Fremont. He, had a, he was supposed to be known as a good robot. The nigga broke out with a nice robot. He did the whole screw the robot bulb out of the sky, right. put his tongue in his, his finger in his 
mouth and then stick it in there and then he'll shake. Right, so he told right, a story. Right, he's right, like, right. Wunk, wunk, wunk. Right, and it looked right, tight. Right. Okay, so I was like, that was tight. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think he could beat me robotin. Right. But it which he couldn't, but but I'm just saying he didn't beat me robot. Mm-hmm. But that was like a trick or a special effects, it's like a power move for breaking. You know, I'm doing right. the high, I'm doing the basic up rock good, but he did a power move like a head spin or a 1990 or something. Yeah, and that was a 1990 of the robot. Right, world. right, right. And I was like, that was tight. I, even in my brain, I was like, okay, he got me on the vibrate. <laughs> right, right, right. Now, I, I can't let that go. Right. But I tried to vibrate. It mm-hmm. took me a whole month trying to vibrate. I I got to a point where I could do a, a vibrate so good. That nobody could see it. That's how good a vibrator. I, I'm doing this, and you can feel a vibrate, but I right. can't go and do it in a battle because you can't see me right, shaking. Right, right, right. So my right, tremor right. is good, right. but you can't see it. It's not visually effective. <laughs> What's he doing? Yeah, like, like he just standing still, yeah. and I think he did. He, he chattering his teeth or something. I don't know what he's doing. I like that, but that nigga, they, they, they look like they, right, they were right. shaking, like Harlem Shake version yeah. of that kind of stuff. They was tight. So I was like, I can't vibrate and beat them there. But I end up going to see one of those uh, movies that I had seen over and over again since I was a kid, and I think everybody else has seen it. Right. Those. Uh, Harry Housen 3D Cyclops movie Sinbad okay yeah definitely definitely. and I I accidentally slipped on after trying to learn how to do this vibrate thing and not being able to move I slipped on the skeletons with the swords in the hand yeah Mm -hmm. and I was like ooh he he's shaking when he moves like it's like a moving vibrate. Oh, that's, right. that's tight, nigga. If I could just get that, uh, uh. Was, now now try to re, try to keep this in perspective. Everybody who did the vibrate to this point that I had ever seen in my whole story, and I ain't saying I seen everybody. Right, so, right. So somebody gonna come and tell me this, and we can talk and debate all we want to. Right. But everybody who did the vibrate at that point always took a pose and stood still and, and right, shook. Right. They didn't move. They just. Uh, right, they, right. They yeah. Can, they can turn around. Yeah. You know, but but it was like a stiffness. Right. You know, you shake because you was holding it still. Right. These things was moving, like hands Ooh. moving. Yeah. Creatures moving. You could see the vibrating. Yeah. Oh, they can stop and go. And I was like, nigga, I want to get that. Uh, that became my answer to the vibrate. So me, right. my motivation of trying to learn how to do that became what I could do so I could beat vibrators who stood still. Right, right, so right. To me, three 3D strobe and Sinbad are all different names of the same thing. The animation, all of those are the same. When you say animation, 3D, strobe, Sinbad, they're all the same. Right. It's just that it didn't have a real quick catch-on name in the beginning. So right, you can only right, describe right. it the best way you could. Exactly. But I was doing it against niggas who was vibrating, and it became very famous at that point. And I became you, very famous and at you that point. And when you say Sinbad. just all moves within, that st- within the dead. Uh, I, I I don't think of it as a I don't think of that move as, as a style anyway. I think no, it no, I think so. of it as a move. But so, yeah. yeah. But when people are doing vibrate, I don't think it's a vibrate style. But I guess you could make one if you want to come up to right. where you do it. But vibrate was a move. It was a kicker yeah, move, it. and you would do that as a robot, and then you start like you got yeah, shot or whatever. Yeah, so definitely. that was good. But I wanted to learn how to do something that was one step up. And my one step up is I couldn't beat them standing still and shaking. I could not beat, I can't do that. I can't. Right. Trust me, if you're a vibrator out there, you could beat me vibrating. <laughs> right? Don't right. tell no girls I said that because right. I'm pretty good at the way I use my stuff now. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But if you are out there vibrating, you can beat me vibrating. But Sinbad is another story <laughs> entirely and I, I, I worked on that. That right. was my answer to people who would vibrate. Dope. That dope, was dope, it. Dope. And I, I don't. I didn't. When people was coming up with names, they go, "What you doing?" Oh man, he looked like he three D. Oh man, he looked like he strobing like a strobe right, like going on. Right, I mean, right. he looked like he ticking real fast. So all those were variations on one what somebody saw and how right. they could describe it exactly. to somebody else. That's yeah. my point of view. Now whether they somebody else said, "No, this was completely different." Blah 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 blah. I don't care. That's their story. Right. This was like I said for me, it was one way. They were already doing this. Here's my answer. Right, right. That was it. Was just an answer I came up with to that. Right. Yeah, it's, it's it's so crazy when people come up with different names because you live in I live in Cincinnati. It's called one thing. You go to L. A. It's called another thing. You go to Detroit. It's called you know so many different people call different dances you know different names. And I guess it's just about where you brought up. It's definitely where you brought up, but it's the vernacular from where you brought up. Like yeah. it's, it's how people describe what they are. Like you know, there are names that are universal that once you hear it, you can say, "Oh, I yeah, understand that." Right. But 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 typically in our in the urban world, period. Mm-hmm. Everybody got a different, what we call, they call swag now, but one day it was like being hip or being cool. Right, right. And everybody got a different way they, they do it. People from different places got different vernacular. They, they come from a certain town, they'll say a different word that means what it says and everybody right. got to catch on to it. So it's right, like we exactly. kind of create the words Same as we thing. go. Right. Now I can say, man, I'm finna, I'm finna nod out, but instead of saying sleep in and nod out, I go, right. man, I'm finna catch an eye blink, man. Exactly. What's, what's right. an eye blink? Nigga, that nigga <laughs> right. catch a, nigga, I'm blinking right now. <laughs> right, right. What, 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 what that mean? I mean, I'm tired, man. Oh, oh nigga, yeah, nigga, I'm finna, nigga, I, nigga, I'm finna, my boy over he, he blinking out, nigga. That nigga right. blinking out. Same thing. All right, I'm just saying that's what we do. All right, it's real simple. Exactly. Did you um find that clip? Yeah. 
All right, let's check out that clip that you was talking about. Yes, man. The Mary, the oh, and, 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 and here's the cold part. She wasn't amateur doing this. This is like high skilled already. Really? So whatever, look at the year that that says on the on the thing and look at her skill level. Look at the year it says when it came out. When it say, don't it tell you the year? Can we hear that? You see okay. On a music box that's wound by a key. How can you Woo. You see the dying <laughs> stops in that? <laughs> yes. Okay, that's what I copied and imitated. Right. No brother in the street was doing that. No. Like, this is, she was just tight. Now, who taught her? That's my question. Right, exactly. Because somebody had to sit and teach her that. Like it almost looked fake. It almost looked like the part. Dude, she a puppet. She a toy. Yeah. She's a, yeah. she, she a toy. It's sick. And I gotta remember, this is years before Shields and Yarnell, so you can't say they started and did right, this. And right. I mean, I'm just saying they good. They were good in their own right too. Right. But this is a base of some things. Right. When she posed like a statue, she posed like a statue. Yeah. I've never seen that before. Now, but 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 Sick. but I'm but that was me. I was like five years old. Like you said, you was four. Right. I'm watching that as a kid. I like, ooh. Now, could you do one more thing? Run to the one where the, the guy is. He's coming out the clown box. That's before he tied her up. He's a he's the one who's a puppet man or in the box. It's on the same. You'll clip? see him. It's on, it's on the same show. It's just uh, right before. No, no. You don't have to go back like that. You had to go find him coming out. He's a like a toy gesture in the box. He's that little. You see another one where it's a guy look like he's a. Oh, it's a different clip entirely. It's a different clip entirely. Oh, okay. What's yeah. it called? Uh, he, he's the one he's standing right there in the mirror. The, go down to this one right here. Yeah. Go down, down, go down. You'll see him. Keep going. He's in red with a blonde head wig. Okay. That yeah, was, right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Yeah, when you clip this one, you'll, 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 you'll check this out. Now, now the good thing about this one is, okay, what he was doing, he's in movie. And even in the movie, he's still doing some pantomime and stuff. But he is actually using effects, like real strings real holding them up and doing uh, puppetry. Right, but right, he was right. doing a live puppet, about, right? Dick Van Dyke. Yeah. So when I watched him do this, oh, when he's talking about it, I hope he showed a clip. You too. So, huh, you like it? That's my favorite song in the whole movie. What an unusual car. Daddy made it. Oh. It and it actually goes. It's called Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. That's a curious name for a motor car. There you go. <laughs> that's when it just going into her. Oh, that's when him and her do it together. If you can catch his part. You gotta reverse yourself. I'm under a spell. All right. Yeah, that's it's the one before he came on before her, so that's when they're together. So like he does one, she do one, then they do it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's before that. He's coming out of a box. Right it might there. be on this other section. You see, it says a clip, like when they were presenting for the king. But you'll be able to find it later if you can't catch it now. It's all good. Yeah, we will catch it. Yeah. yeah, but you'll be able to go back and do it. And then, the, and there's only one more inspiration. Um, HR Puff and stuff is an old HR Puff and stuff, yes, the main thing. And they had this thing on there a boy called himself the Mechanical Boy. So if you say HR Puff and stuff, Mechanical Boy, he all he did was a robot piece. Now, right. his robot piece was very sorry, it wasn't clean like hers, right? But the thing is, he was singing and moving and he would do these glitches, like, like, uh, because I'm a because I'm a right, 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 I'm a, right. Because I'm a, because I'm a mechanical boy. Yeah. My robot started for between those two people put together. Right. So I didn't copy other people's robot. I didn't do the puppet on the right. head. I didn't do the, I just did them too. Me watching them too. So mm -hmm. my robot, I didn't create it. I just copied them too. Right. And got famous for doing the moves I thought they would, could do. Right. Half tick and half glitch. Yeah. Okay. And then when the vibrate came in from the Sinbad, try to beat a vibrator, mm -hmm. I was able to take all those together and my vibrate from doing this became my hit. I'm really right. just vibrating between the glitches right. and stops. So there were people who were already stopping and hitting 
They right. were already doing dancing to the music. Right. They just didn't have a great shake. They, if they had the costumes on, like hats, wigs, eyeglasses, yeah. they can hit and you see all the shaking. Yeah, but yeah. if they took it off, it wasn't pr- prominent. Right, Mine's right, right. Mine was a prominent shake, even if I didn't, I, I didn't have to move and have bounce move. I could yeah. stand it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was from my per- point of view. Right, right. I but see. I seen people do it. In fact, Boo the Bop is one of the people I seen doing what I would call the dancing person. Like he was doing the dominoes and the steps, and, and though he could tell you his story better than I could, he was the first guy I saw in a dance group routine of what I would have called like the robot advancing into popping. Because they were doing before mm. then, it was a group called Robot Brothers, John Boy and the Robot Brothers. They did the ro- robot that looked like a robot. You can right. buy a clip on Johnny Carson them for good. But when they was doing it, they was doing it to music that was a little bit more up tempo. Right. And it did. It wasn't. It wasn't this kind of robot. It right. was like one, two, three, four. It was like the right, basic of right, the domino right, stuff. Right, exactly. They were doing that. The yeah. steps. I was like, oh, now who he saw it coming from? That's why I said, let me bring him. Right. But he's who I saw do it. And with the time I caught him to do it, that was. 78, 70, yeah. 78, 79. Right. Because I was still doing my versions of Robot up to 76 what, uh, to, to that point. Like Blue said, they created. Yeah. I see. And I don't got the controversy worrying about whether the EBs and them said right. they created whatever because... Right. But I don't have that controversy. <laughs> but, right. look, but look, I don't have that controversy. No, right. Don't. right. I don't have right. that because I'm from L.A. And right. L.A. still had a... I had a different style. My style is really... It's, it's still a watered-down... And then advanced or doubled up version of Oakland and Frisco yeah. in them. Right. Dre, Dre is a commercial. Okay. We were just talking about that. Dre is what we call the brothers like from the Bay, which the the Boogaloo came from. Right. Is we call him. What we say we call you the, the Muhammad Ali of it all. Yes. He can do it all. Right. Right. He, right. He can do. The 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 the, the boogaloo style. like you I can imitate I see yeah, it I can imitate he stays yeah. true to his art form yes. yeah, but exactly. I stay true to me character. right exactly now, he can move in, the, in the, the way we boogie to the beat but he stay he stays in his school now he can you could come in here and and he never met you in your life and hit a move and three seconds later Drake could do it he right 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 he's a he's a student of the art dude okay but I don't oh, practice yeah. though so we we I, go we go come back to that real quick here go to a break okay. yeah um yo this is boy Shane Sparks chilling is it Buddha Bob yeah Buddha, Buddha. Buddha. The Bop. Oh, Boo the Bop. Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm like, Boo the Bop. <laughs> Boo the Bop and my boy Bop and Andre. It's your boy Shane Sparks playing the dance. We'll be back in a minute. I don't but, know what um, this one. I don't know what this one is. Yeah. The way it is on camera is not good. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm Switch places real quick. Yeah, okay. Yo, yo, it's your boy Shane Sparks. We back. And in fact, we still talking. Y'all probably missed some good stuff, but we're going to try to recap it in a little bit. But it's so much going on and so many things that I want to talk about. So we can't just like shut up because it's, it's, it's hard to do that. So, um, but I wanted to say something too about the movie Breaking. Yes. Now tell me this. When you, <laughs> when you are 
kind of like a pioneer to certain things. I just want to see if you feel the same way I feel. And then you see a movie like Breaking. Were you inspired or like, hmm, influenced? I was. I didn't instruct. I just influenced or inspired. I get that part where you're coming from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so did, did you get influenced by it or did you get like, um, was you like, oh, that movie could have been better? Yeah, I got that part. Personally, for me, you know, I'm... I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a different cat in the way that I try to pronounce things out. So here, right, here let right, me put right. this out the real way. Right, right. I like <clears throat> I like Boogaloo Shrimp in the movie. Right. Still like him as a character. I thought it was sorry in the movie because he wasn't on a caliber. <clears throat> Anybody who's good at what they are, when you you as a dancer, you look at people and you could tell if you're a good dancer. I'm sorry for you guys. If you're a real good dancer, you know what caliber is and when they when they hit standards and when they didn't. Right, 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 but, right. But it don't mean it didn't do good. He did good in the movie. I thought he was below standards for our game, but he did good in the movie, and yeah. he went worldwide popularity, yeah. which right, I never right. did in my whole life. Right, right, right. right. So give him that much. Half half of me is saying for everybody who made that movie and that cut, good for them. But mm-hmm. that's a salty good for them, like a haterade right. good thing. Because right. I know I was around, and niggas could have called a nigga and say, "Nigga, get in the movie, nigga, you good." Why, why them niggas don't know me? They know right, me. Right, and, right, 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 right. And, and the worst part of this is. As they made their reputation, and I, I can anybody who you want to say got a name for being in the movie, like sh- the dude, the, the dude who was the light skinned dude. Papa Taco. No, 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 I know him, but oh, no, and the, Shabadoo. 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 Okay. He don't know me. He didn't know me. He still don't know me. So right. I, he would never be saying this a dude named Bob and Andre. Right, right, I know right. him. He should have gotten the movie. No, oh, like but him. but the people like, even though they're looking for their own careers, the EBs. Right, right, right. Them right. niggas was in the movie. They could have said Dre. Hey, nigga, yeah. I know we don't know you like this, but you in the hood, right? They doing right. the movie on popping, nigga, and you good. <laughs> you need to get in. Like, right. they didn't do that. Right. And for that matter, them niggas still won't call me to go to something to come up. So right. I'm just saying, that's not how, hey, that's Dre, how it is. I learned really early. That's why I went from being a dancer to a choreographer, because I learned really early, man. You could be hanging around dudes every single day. When it comes to making that money and booking jobs, they would disappear on you. And you'll watch TV, you'll be like, oh. Why would I, why didn't they tell me about that? I was just with dude yesterday. Right. They won't tell you about an audition. They won't tell you about a, they want. I, and I learned that. And I didn't. I wasn't mad at them because after I realized that it's a doggy dog world out here, and these people uh. are here hustling. But I said, there's this thing called loyalty. And I said, dude, there's going to be a time when I'm going to be on top. Trust yeah. me, I didn't come out here for no reason. Yeah. And you probably going to be on top. We can help each other. But if you diss me now. You're probably gonna get this then. Yes, correct. So, so pay attention. There's enough room for everybody. We mm-hmm. can all help each other because we all trying to do the same thing. If you dope, you dope. I got your back, and that's the thing I've been trying to do all my life, and it just always backfires. But it's crazy that you said that they did that movie and they kind of like. Hey. This is this is how I feel. Real real quick. This is how I feel hey, that's about. Serious. It's serious. No, trust me. This is how I feel about the movie Breaking. Me and my boys, we was in cruise. We battled. Every day. So when that movie came out, it just it um, confirmed that there is something else out there more than Cincinnati battling each other. There's somewhere for us to go. So it inspired us so much. Poppin' Taco, literally, like you said, you see somebody. I lick. I literally, literally mimicked his every move from his expression to just everything about it. I I couldn't understand how somebody could be so cold to me. So when I watched that movie, that's what inspired me. But when I watched the choreography, I was so disappointed because that's what we did. We was a group, we was a group that battled with choreography. We would come out and just murder. And when I saw them, like when you watch the movie, you see them messing up every single time. (laughs) And I was like, who is editing this movie? Who's the producer and director? Who's the choreographer? What the fuck? I'm sorry. I don't mean to cuss, but how come you can't take another take and get it right? Right. Can I? And, can yes, I, please. <laughs> because first of all, as far as they popping or whatever you want to call it, mm-hmm. they were limited in their skill set. Yes. Okay. The uh, The guy you talking about, Boogaloo Shrimp. Uh, we have a mutual friend named Robot Prince. Yes. Yeah, I know Prince. Robot Prince brought Shrimp to me after the first breaking movie. Right. See, everybody in the city knew of me. So, like the the slims from the lockers, all all these so called big time dancers in LA would come. Dre didn't have to do Dre was Dre's the man. So they they brought him to me, right? And I'm it's we have some in the dance you know, far as I, I was brought to you too. You just Yeah, but you want to dance with yeah. me. You could dance yeah. with me. Yeah. These cats was coming trying to learn something to run with it. Right. You know, right, they coming right. like you said, they're coming, you know, people because I was I had I was feeding the family. So my right. thing, you know, my my group had folded and I was doing other things. Right. But I still can dance. Mm-hmm. And I and I teach and I do it all, right? So they brought the guy to me. And so I'm trying to just teach him a, what we call a basic catch on. 
if you can catch on with me on on a step, you can do this dance. Right. Dude, this dude had already made this movie break and it couldn't catch on with nothing. Wow. So, you know, but I can still do this. Everybody can do a move. Everybody right. can do solos. Right. But the what what but where I came from is the reason why we start doing the group moves or whatever, is because everybody in the Bay Area did it. So if you want to win this money in this talent show or these shows, you if you if you just coming as a solo artist and it's the five best dancers from this city yeah. coming, who's going who can beat Michael Jackson? Two Michael Jacksons. Who could beat two Michael Jacksons? Three. Right, right. So this right. is where our group they are like like the electronic boogaloos are always trying to downplay. Well, they can do good choreography. It's because that's the beauty of it. Mm-hmm. Drake can do heck of good by itself. But if you put me and Drake together, we're going to show you some stuff right. that can't be. You, you know what I'm saying, Drake? Yeah, yeah. It, that's, the, that's the beauty of the dance, I, is the choreography. The, mm-hmm. There was always a, a little, this, the same thing has been done more than one, between more than one groups, more than one city, more than yeah. whatever. So right. let's, 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 let's give the, give the let's sting it right, right there on the target. Here's the target. L.A. is known for individual Dancers Let me, who individually wait, wait, who individually right. get down and can say they can hold their own as yeah, an individual. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Bay got individual dancers too, but they learned to specialize on sort of like the cloning thing. We're gonna mm-hmm. learn how to become a group, like a unit, and and their choreography by by far over exceeds. Actually, LA is still rolling as far as groups. LA has got a uh, the urban feel, meaning that they got a Toyota or or a Nissan that they. Painted the paint outside and put good sounds in and put some rims on it. Right, right, so they right. got the California hoopty that they didn't, you know, souped up the right, best right, way they right. can. Mm-hmm. Whereas the Cadillac and the Deville's coming out stock is coming mm-hmm. from up there. They already have the their group routines is already fantastic. But we always go, yeah, but they can't beat me on a turnaway. They can't beat me on a runaway. Right, right, like, right, right, yeah. They can't beat. We ain't in Porsche, nigga. We got right. Porsche engines and we we souped up. Well, Let me give you a little bit argument. of who I am, I and then you, you can I see why you. I talk the way I talk. Right. I came. I I came. I'm. I was born here. I was born in Los Angeles, but I was raised in the Bay Area. Okay. I was raised in Richmond, Oakland, but mainly Richmond. And uh, when I got when I got to the first year I was there, I heard of a dance in my part. Of, and in the Bay Area, you have San Francisco, Richmond, you have the different cities, mm-hmm. you know. But Oakland was the metropolis, as I found out later, of this dance. It's called the East Oakland Boogaloo. Mm-hmm. Not the electronic, but it's called the East Oakland Boogaloo. Then Frisco, they call it Strutton, Richmond. We were known as Richmond Robotters. Mm-hmm. But what connects us all is the dime, what we call the, what well, he, you heard him say, the dime, dime stop, stop, the hit. Mm-hmm. That connects us all. If you can we just do that hit, well, you can catch on with me. No matter what your individual style is or your individual style, we all can get together and make a step up. Right, right. You know, because like singing, because we pattern ourselves off the, like he said, the movies. We watch, I, I grew up watching, I got a lot of choreography from Gene Kelly and Don O'Connor, the Zigfield Folly movies. See, I watched all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. Cartoons, you mm-hmm. know, you, your inspiration, the, the Sinbad movies, Clash of the Titans, all right, that kind right. of stuff, you know. So, but the thing was, is that they had these gigantic talent shows, and these cats would come from different cities. And the, the same cats that you saw, like on the gong show, the mechanical devices. Mm-hmm. Okay, these are cats we had to dance against. I know them. Those, are the, those was my idols. Mm-hmm. And, but they weren't the only group up there. Right. I had groups. You know, you, so you had to, you, if, for you to make a name in the Bay Area, you had, to, you had to know what you was talking about. So when I came back down here in 76, now by L.A. being how it was, you just couldn't go on this side of town. You know that. You can't go on this side of the gangs. Right, See, we right, didn't right. have that problem up north. Right. We would be practicing to keep us out of trouble. That kept us out of trouble. Right, Because right. we practiced for the next shows. You didn't, they didn't have that here. They did for a minute with the workshop and all that stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and, uh, so as I got, as, as L.A. was robot in their way, draining them, they were the baddest and the robots. They robot, they robot. But we, our robot and stuff was different. You know, it was totally different. Mm-hmm. And so as it caught on and they start calling it the, the pop and whatever, we didn't call, I, we didn't call it pop like it. Mm-hmm. It's Boogaloo, Robot, whatever. But as it started catching on, so I said, okay, well, I need me a group. So I start teaching certain guys that I knew, and everybody thought they were from the Bay Area because they were dancing like the Bay Area. So by this time, it's been caught on. It's what, 78, 79? 70, 80? 79. Yeah, mm-hmm. so now we're touring around all these clubs, and we're dancing, we, we're getting in these shows and stuff. And uh, the boys was around, the electronic book loose. Mm-hmm. They came to the club I was working at right down here on Adams and Rempaw used to be called a disco train. 
Okay. I had booked a group called Granny and the Robot Choice. They're from San Francisco. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's a, oh, it's a, they're in the Hall of Fame. Of, they're in the Hall of Fame. They tight. Yeah, they tight. Really? I, yeah. Tight. Dude, there's so many groups I could tell you so names. There's a lot of groups. There's a lot of groups in LA that, that came here before. Right. The, see, the reason how Electronic Book Loops was able to go on social media, we were gone. I was gone back up north and they knew it, mm-hmm. you know. So oh, they go on Soul Train. And my what my mistake was is was I was 17, mm-hmm. 18, I'm doing the choreography. First, I got to teach these kids this dance. Right. Then I got to do the choreography. Then I got to get the unit one. Then I got to do the booking. You think right, you're talking right, about a kid right. doing all this. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So my thing was... If you didn't pay for it, I'm just not gonna give it up for free. Right, right. So we had an opportunity to go on. We had an opportunity to go on Soul Train. They only wanted to give you Kentucky Fried Chicken and Coca Cola. Right, Cola. right. They you still know, do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so do I didn't like go on. But I made your mistake over though, because that was TV exposure. I didn't. Right. I didn't right. Sometimes you gotta exactly. do stuff for right, free. Right, definitely. And uh, we had the opportunity to get on the. They called me. I'll never forget because they were shooting the video on 60th and Crenshaw, the the Beat It video. Mm-hmm. We didn't go. We didn't go get on that. But I ended up, you know, meeting Randy later on. But it was it it, it just it was just it was wasn't just our time, I guess. Right. As far right. as that, now mm-hmm. the whole city knew of us, Jay. You know, you can go to certain OG dancers. Look, look, I I got a I got a I got a thing to say just to verify something. Name anybody in LA who had got a name. Like he said, sometimes when you're in the game, you get yeah. a name. From the area you in, yeah. right, and in your area, you may they may not know nobody in another area, but right. they know who this person is to go to. If you say who could dance over here, oh, that nigga from Crenshaw, or that nigga, right, 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 he, right, he's down the street over here, right. When you get known or a little reputation like that, you get known in a in an area, and that's give you like ghetto reputation, right, you right. You got a ghetto, you got a right. ghetto rep, and um, you become ghetto fabulous, like right. people, you, you kind of like a star. Mm-hmm. Right. You ain't a big star, but in the in the hood, you you famous. Yeah. Right, okay? right. And then as you go to battle another person, you at least get to find out why you famous where you are and why right. they famous where they are. Right, right. In fact, this is how I believe people meet each other, including right. why we pass each other right. a few yeah. moments. Right. I, I, I've never, at, at, to this point, I haven't watched a show where you choreograph or I've seen you dance. Right. But I had already, when I went to a place, had heard your name, mm-hmm. saw you in a millennium teaching a class. Right. And some of that, and instead of me being like, oh nigga, you think you, you nigga, you, you know, nigga, what right, you think right, you do, right. blah blah blah. I go, right. I go. Yeah, well, he's supposed to be a dancer. Well, if he dance around me, I let him know who I am, or he'll catch me somewhere, or I'll catch him somewhere. Right, it, right, it ain't right. like I have to bump your head. Right, right, definitely. But I, but I still, in that way, I'm saying I still got your name before I actually got to meet you. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? It's like your name perceived. Mm-hmm. Somebody points you out. Hey, that's that dude who's. Like, oh, really? Okay, why? Well, where he from? I don't know, but he's in this thing. Right. That, that, your name preceding you when people do that. Right, right, okay? right. His name was in more than one area. Yeah. When they were sometimes... going, he was known in more. So you name somebody who's known here. Oh, we know that boo, that blah. Do you know him? Oh, he blah 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 blah. I was coming up like, nah, I'm bad, nigga. Who, who, who gonna challenge me? I was a challenge. I was like a cut man. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I challenged niggas no matter where they was from from the air to get my reputation but we going. We wasn't on that page. Right. No, y'all wasn't. But I was yeah, I was yeah. on that. Dre, yeah, and they right. had to, Dre's for a me color. to be on that Which page, people up. would tell yeah. me, that's this dude from here. Yeah. And I would go over there, like, let's go over there and battle him. Let me see if he's good. Right, right, right. So for me to go get get introduce you, yeah. it just so happened that the EBs. Which I got a different line on the EBs too, because I've always, to me, been their nemesis. And remember, I'm telling right. you, to them, I may not have been their nemesis whatsoever. But right. to me, they've always been, I've always been their nemesis because instead of me catching up with them to find them, they came to my school right. to rep- to push themselves to promote. Wow. Right. And when they came to my school, the best dancers at my school just happened to be, not be there. Right. The best dancers at my school wasn't me. I just happened to be the only rep who had to go against them. Because the best dancers were not there. Right, right, right. At that time, and I'm, I'll make this quick, it, the, yeah, exactly. uh, the electric boogaloos were called the electric boogaloo lockers, lockers. not the See, electric boogaloo lockers. poppers. Mm-hmm. And in there they had, and I think it was genius on the side of uh, Sam's brain, no matter where he got it from, he did what everybody in L.A. I thought they would do. He took people he knew who could do different type of dance. Whether he taught them these dances himself or whether they learned them and he just put them in this group to represent that. He took the group and there's a dude who could robot, there's a dude who could lock, there's a dude who, they call mm-hmm. himself lock so they all had a locking step, but there's a dude who could do an individual thing. The one dude who stood out to me because I was robot based, it was two dudes. Robot Dane who turned me out with the vibrate, remember right. I told you what got me started. Right. And a dude called Pop and Pete. Now just mm-hmm. for the record, even they don't like the word pop locking, but just mm-hmm. for the record, I mean, I'm in LA. I mean, and in LA we take those words and we change them up. And I'm one of the ones who herald the name or the word pop locking. I, that come from me. 
So when you say, well, who, who started pop locking? I came up with the coin frame pop locking. But it ain't that I came up with pop locking as it is. Right, right. They were locking. People were locking first. And then people started popping. And so you said, man, they over there popping and locking. Right, They over right. there popping and locking. People said, man, they, he locking. I he agree popping. with that. That's the term L.A. Infinite. And locking. Pop locking. Pop right. locking was the term. What they doing? Though? I mean, he popping yeah. and locking. Yo, I mean, he over there pop locking. That's how to, it just get grouped into right, being pop right, locking. Right, right, You was either popping or you were locking, locking, which was right. the two main things going on at that time. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Now, the thing was, when I came here, I never called it popping. Mm-hmm. That's a, that, like Dre said, that's a term that so The streets in L.A. Put, put on that. Yeah. They put that on there. So what? So to identify if somebody said, well, what you, I pop, but, I, but you know, amongst each other, I'm not a pop locker. Right. You right, know, that's, right. That's L.A. style, you know. But the thing about, let's get back to the electronic boogaloos. Now, they knew who we were. You know, we would go to certain shows. We we had to lie sometimes to get in. And you changed the name because we won before. You know, our name <laughs> right, was the right. Fantastic Four. Right. But we went on the Close Encounters of the Funkest Kind, which was a group Ooh, from the Bay. Sick. We went on as the Black Messengers, the Mechanical. Mm-hmm. The, we had to say these different names to get up in these shows, you know, because we had won before or whatever. And uh, the thing about it, I booked Granny and them at the club I was working at, at the disco train. This is around 78, 79. And then Granny and them came. Granny, they weren't no joke, bro. When I tell you who they were, it's, you're talking about a lady dressed as an old lady, brought six cats, and they were something else. Yeah, they were was she a real old lady? Or she no, that's her like ass. She dressed like wow. she was Granny. And uh, so when I booked them, it was a big thing. So people came over, and at this night, uh, your boy you just named, Poppin' Pete, whatever, from mm-hmm. the Electronic Boogaloo, the other boy from the Electronic Boogaloo. And one of my partners from the Bay was down here. So you had a lot of people from the Bay in there. But I guess they didn't know that on that side of town, because we had been deep on that west side and stuff, already dancing, because I had was over there. Mm-hmm. You know, I already do, did, I don't know, you know, Dorsey, Jeffrey Daniels, all of them was picking that stuff mm-hmm. up for me. Bitten Apple, all those different places I was going. Yeah. So when they came and I saw the way they was dancing, and to be honest, I don't, not trying to talk about the jerking of the legs. That was a sign of weakness in the way we do it. Mm. Through how they jerk their legs. And that's a fact. That's a, that's a sign of weakness. It means you are the baby at it. Yeah, you, you don't know what you're doing. And so when people was, was like basically locking the legs. No, yeah, the like way the, that they jerk. That was their stuff, pop, yeah. that's, that's a sign of weakness in our dance. That's, mm. the, that's the start of, that is the start. This is why you never really saw good choreography after 40 years with them. Yeah. They, because they're limited in their style. And they're limited in what they learned. And the reason why I say that is we saw the spin, with how you know how we, when we boogaloo, how we do that spin or whatever. Yeah. We saw certain movements that, hey, that's from the Bay. You can see certain stuff. You can right. say, that's from the Bay. Right. You know? And so Pete and Pete was in the bathroom, and my, my, me and my cousin, mm-hmm. we, you know, man, where y'all get that dance from? Well, we got it from Oakland. Well, we from Oakland. What part of Oakland are you from? He couldn't say it. Mm-hmm. So it boils down. He said, well... My brother got it from Derek Lovett when he was in Sacramento. Derek Lovett is a legend in that in, his, in that field. Mm-hmm. But Derek Lovett is in prison, so he can't talk. He's been in prison for years. Wow. He's doing life. Wow. So he can't talk. So once he went to, I guess he, this dude was able to say that, hey, I invented it. Now, the argument is no argument. And then, like, you know, the thing was, we know it comes from the Bay Area. But mm-hmm. you have people around the world say, well, uh, uh, no, but electronic booklet, it doesn't matter who you want to say invented this dance or whatever, mm-hmm. but how can you say you invented this dance when you got me here? This dude's already doing it. You have other kids. We are, I'm already here with a group. Right, right, that I right. Took, took you, me you, two years or whatever. I'm here. And I'm not even saying I invented I could have came out here and said, hey, man, I invented this dance. But one of the things, and I want you to, I want to clarify something. This is really, really good. The first person I ever seen pop their leg back was popping Pete. So when I say the yeah. first time I've ever seen a person popping, I give that claim to popping Pete. Mm-hmm. His name was popping Pete in the group of lockers that he was in. Right, I right. Him when he came I can school. go for that because and he was out of all those time. people that was in their group, he was the one who was bouncing his leg back to keep his time. I understand what he was doing, but he was doing it back. Now, now when, when you saw started, us, how did it look? It, y'all, y'all look, Y'all were more advanced, but that's yeah. the difference between y'all were robots and dancing robots, and these dudes were like puppets. So mm-hmm. when I first came up with trying to explain what the styles look like, I can even get up and demonstrate it. It's so simple. Yeah, he's the, so, the, he ain't no joke, man. The, the deal yeah. is, is when you first see a person bounce their leg back, you know this is like them going to your first choreography class and you're trying to get them right, to keep Right, 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 right. This is how you have to get your, keep your time. Then mm-hmm. you go to the left, keep your time, right, keep your right. time. Now, 
keeping them keeping their time is what I first saw them do, and I thought that they were sloppy robots. I even told them that, man. Yeah. You guys was that man. You, I, I'm gonna at the time that they came to the school at this point, past the lady who was on Chitty Chitty Bing Bang, Shields and Yarnell were out. You know, Shields and Yarnell had the clinkers on the television, and you know so robot was getting system. extra stiff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was it was taking us it was taking us extra. Uh, I can move in. I can I can bounce it. I can put my chin out in. It was getting a stiff freeze to it. Right. So when you see a person go, you go. <laughs> if you see them doing this, yeah. You go. Oh man, that's he trying to robot, but he's it's sloppy robot. Right, 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 that's right. That's my right. version of it. Like right. You 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 you're a sloppy robot. Now also remember that I seen the robot brothers who come out. They 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 stick and hit. Right, right, and right. Them, they they did the stick and hit, but faster. So they had mm. a they had a blue. Boom. And he said they robot uh-huh. or strutting or whatever. To me, they were popping. Because right. I'm an L.A. version looking at not knowing what they call it. Right, you know right, exactly, so right. when I seen the EBs, my first thing is to go back to what related. And my right. first relation is, well, y'all doing a sloppy robot, but you can't beat the robot brothers in them, the, the robot brothers group. Right. And then again, you can't beat Fantastic Four because that's the name as I knew them. They, they right. already did, they did choreography in their group, which was the catch on, the domino, the time. Right, right, right. Had, it was complex. You got to... So, re- Right. So it's like it's so in my brain it's like seeing a drill team that you know is good, and then when you see another group dr- girls doing it, they doing some of the moves that the other drill team is, but not as good. Mm-hmm. You automatically know that that group is advanced. I don't know who started first, mm-hmm. if you want to say that, but you know who is advanced. I'm not to saying me, I created it. I came mm-hmm. from where from because I know when I came out here, nobody. I I, I never saw a wave. None of that. All that came from. I was the first group brought the waves out here. When we came, we had to remember we did the. Thing at the workshop. I remember that. Yeah, we brought. I brought ways in the group moves. You know, mm-hmm. and, and Ch- chain, we call them chain ways out yeah, here. Chain ways. I brought. You, you know, hook up ways. and then you do a yeah, wave yeah, and everybody yeah, yeah. chain ways. I, the first time I saw a backslide was in 1972. So you got to understand. I've been doing this since the, since the early 70s. Right, right, right. So you know, a lot of stuff. It's nothing new up under the sun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there like, are some new things. It's some, yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> but what what I want to say is, I said, but I, it well, has man, the basics. Now I told you, you have yeah. a string and some basics. Yeah. Everybody, oh, it's a, it's a new style. No, you're just doing new moves oh, up under the, the old dance. Right, yes. right, right. That's right. what I meant to say. Yes, yeah. that's, yeah. that's what I said. There are some things. Yeah. That, new, it is. <laughs> yeah, that, the way they, yeah, the sometimes kids change do it. Names, no, this, is, this, this is how I felt, too, because when I saw Motown 25 and saw Michael Jackson do the moonwalk, yes. I think I was the only one that was sitting there looking like, okay, well, I've seen that a million times. Yeah. To a lot of people, that was the first time they had ever right. saw it, and it was like amazing to them. Yeah. But I was like, dude, we've been moonwalking for years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, first like, of all, where we were from, it's, it's called the backslide. It's, backslide. it's yeah. not the moonwalk. But then it just got titled moonwalk, like, so that's like, how I'm everybody show relate you, to it. I'm going to show you the, uh, the backslide you already know. I'll show you the original show them how the, moonwalk. Uh, show them how the moonwalk. You, well, you, you have moonwalk. to look like you're walking on the moon. You got, you got, you got room. I'll show you the original moonwalk. You don't got to get this on clip if you don't want to. Yeah, definitely want this. You got the camera. Can the camera get this? This is the original moonwalk. Show them the moonwalk, okay. You might be able to get it. He, he oh, that's a bad boy, man. need to turn it towards him? Oh, you got to get it towards his feet, though, huh? Yeah, it's got to be toward my... It's, it's basically yeah, there you go. Your feet, your base. This is simple. If you can stand back, it's good, but this is simple. So, everybody got the idea of the backslide being the moonwalk because you're moving it. Right, right, right. Here's the original moonwalk. And the concept, I'll tell you why it is. And, and you're going to make you laugh when I tell you what inspiration and how it came. Your feet are supposed to be in, in them suits that's really right. some heavy. Really? Well, it looked like you floating and hard to walk on the ground. Because you're magnetically on the moon, so you right. have to bounce go. already because you if your feet go, you have this. Right. That's, this is. There you go. <laughs> This that's is the original. Right, right, right. This is the <laughs> idea of this is the what's moonwalk that? because you're moving. If you right. go to moving, it's, it's half slow motion. Can he do one more thing? Yes, Can, of course. Right. Here you go. Okay. Why you had to hit that Minotron man for me? That Sinbad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me take the moonwalk because each one of them are eliminated. Right. So when you get ready to you find remember out the old this, Sinbad movies? This, when yes. you get ready to find out where this comes from, which is like the like I'm I'm moving. When people say, well, what you doing? The backslide? No, I'm doing, I'm doing the moonwalk. Some kind of way in the streets they got. The two walks com- right. confused. Right, okay. right, right. That moonwalk comes from a puppet walk off Dick Van Dyke. When you get to see the Dick Van Dyke that I told you to show you, right. you see that he had these big old long foot and he was he was on strings though. But he was right. technically like he floating. Oh, it's tight. I could just do that. So it was he was doing <laughs> Wait, look just was, like you on strings too. That's really crazy. He was doing a puppet thing. Uh-huh. So he was like moving like I'm doing this. So he I like, oh man, if I could just oh if I could do that, go ahead like I'm gonna be on the moon. I could I could just Slow motion. Boom. Then hit some. Yeah. 
Oh, dude, right, that's, right. That's the moonwalk. Yeah, okay. well, give me that Minotron Man one time. In the Minotron Man. Oh, it's, it's from the Sinbad, Sinbad. movie. Sinbad is the old Sinbad movie. movie. I hope this can pick up on your camera, but we'll see. Let me see. This kick kick up. You got. You can go up now. You ain't gonna be. You gonna be up now. This yeah, is, get it the top of his is, body. Yeah, top body now. No, yeah. you want the legs too now. You I want the legs. No, no, they'll see the motion regardless. All right. They'll see the motion because the motion is. That's his legs. The motion is the way to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is. This is. It's not just turning your head. It's not just freezing and stopping. Right. No. It's the. It's the whole idea of where. The whole going. mannerism. Right. 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 Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like 100% have to like, be coming. You know I what I mean? Like, I love it, you know? baby. I love it. I love it. That's so, what I be trying to tell these dancers. I was like, you got to become the move. You become exactly. to do it. You got to become it. In your mind, you're really the minute. So you 100% I'm, I'm imitating. In my brain, I'm trying to yeah. say if it was moving, it would be crazy. Now you can do some crazy stuff with it. You can move your hair yeah. back. You can, you can tear stuff. You can do those things right. with it. But the idea is what illusion you're trying to put back. That's why I say I'm more of a mimic than anything. Right, so I, right. I'm more like a modern day mime of anything else. But, but He's it, a again, beast, man. He's a beast. I know, I know. That's why we're here. That's He's a beast. That's why we're here. I remember the first time I saw him on stage, the very first time I had ever heard his name or seen him was at Carnival. And I remember Free was like, oh, yeah, I'm doing Carnival, da 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 You should come down. I was like, okay. And I hardly ever go to Carnival. So I went down there, and I'm sitting there, and I'm watching. I'm not sure what the theme was, but all I know is this dude dressed up like a mummy came out from the side. He didn't even do too much. What you had it on, was the Dre? Toilet paper? Toilet paper. Whatever the hell it was. It's toilet paper was wrapped over yeah. my leg. I had, a, I had a white T-shirt mm -hmm. on, and toilet paper was wrapped all around my body. Just to mm -hmm. just make me like a mummy, like yeah. you know, coming out of a little thing like a mummy, yeah. half hand. Now look at this. Mm -hmm. This is this is how crazy. <laughs> this is how separated we are when it comes from the dancers that really know what they're doing right. and the dancers that just do what they see. I understand. All he did was walk out, yeah. but the way he walked out and his head, I couldn't understand. I I'm sitting in my chair this whole time watching Carnival, seeing it, seeing it before. Oh, okay, that's how, oh they dropped to the floor this time. Okay, oh she showed it, uh, oh, and then nigga came walking out from the, the side. I did not understand what the fuck was going on. I was like, who was that? I was, I was like, who is that? Nobody could tell. I was like, who is that? And then I was talking to Fred. I said, Free, who's the guy who came out that was popping with the mummy? He's like, that's, that's um, Poppin' Andre. He said, that's the guy who taught me. I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> and that's why I had to meet you. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if I met you that night, but I know the first time I face-to-face -face saw you, I was like, dude, you're probably the coldest thing I've seen no, we since should, I've been we doing No, we shook hands, but we didn't get to talk because yeah. everybody was moving around. But, right. he, but he did say... This is the, that's one of who, who pointed to me. He said, "That's the dude Shane Sparks was doing." I go, "Yeah, oh, okay, okay." Yeah. And that's why I said it wasn't a it wasn't a hatred thing. It was like, "Oh, I met you when I just did a little something." And my right. piece wasn't big. It was just a given. It, it was a get atmosphere. Like, I was Ex doing like a remember the time for Michael Jackson. Ex exactly. Yeah, that's what it was. And it was just the simplest I, thing, dude. Simple. But I come from that world where. Like I said, I wasn't taught to do this. And you could tell in the look and the body structure, you could tell right when the nigga starts moving. You could already tell, like, mentally they already in that world. Yeah. And some people, you just don't get that. But they're good. You're like, you good. You remember all that choreography. I love you. know, you good. But let me see you. Take away all the choreography you learned. Mm, just dance. Yes. Just dance yes. for just me. Dance. Let me see your your spirit. Yeah. And when you came walking out there, dude, I swear to God. It's only, the Papa Taco was the only person that gave me that energy, dude, that made yes. me just like... I, who like who is that? What is he thinking? You know, so yeah, so but that's why we keep running to each other. It's just a matter of time yes. before we do something crazy and before people know who you are around the world because it don't make sense for like I said this earlier. There's guys online that been dancing for five years and the world knows them as being the greatest or being so good. We're talking about. I, I believe that that's part of their promotional marketing and how we move now. Right. I, I don't. I don't hate on that. Me neither. I don't, I don't, I don't either. care that they do it. I do understand the difference that. And that's why I said it's the same haterade I had when you said about the movie Breaking. Yeah. When I see other people doing it, I go, dude, I can do that. Like, right, my, my brain right. goes, I can do that. Yeah. Dude, I can probably do that. Why I ain't getting paid? Yep. They ain't calling me. <laughs> right. Why, why ain't nobody telling me to take me there? I, I Look, what I say to you? I mean, you on a trip? You, you, you touring? Man, you should, you should call me, cat. Call me. Yeah. I'll go tour with you. Like, like, if that's the case, let's make it happen. My, my reason is that I'm always available. I'm a hermit. I'm kind of self-made. I do my mm -hmm. own things. I'm, I'm ugly, but I'm talented, man. I got a lot stop of talent. saying you ugly. <laughs> hey, I say that because hey, I'm the living vampire. I don't have no problem. I, right, right. I, I feel you on that. No problem. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this though. This is what this is. This is how life is to me, dude. The way you look is based on to me. The way you look is based on what you do. Yes. 
if you're dope as fuck at something, your face becomes synonymous with, with what that. you do. Yeah. So it don't look you don't look at them as ugly. When I see you, I see that's one of the that's, coldest that's niggas cat. I've ever yeah. seen that's in my life. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's all I see. Yeah. I don't see nothing else. So whether you want to say ugly, beautiful, whatever, all I see that's the coldest dude, and you re- that's what you represent. Well, that's, to that's me. why I ain't no Clark Superman. Ken, my glasses <laughs> can't really hide anywhere. You know, <laughs> if I was if I had it going on like that and the girls was coming, I would be answering. Not my <laughs> right, right, right. Call me, yeah, right, right, call right. Me. I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. So, but but that's that's what I'm saying, dude. It's it's what you represent, and yes. I'd rather be known for what I do than what I look what like. You, look like yes. you know what I mean? Because looks are gonna fade. Something happened to you, but when you do something, you can die. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And people will still be talking about you. And that's a good thing. That's what I'm talking Sometimes. about, man. That's true. <laughs> that's, 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 that's true. That's true. <laughs> All right, yo, we're going to have to wrap this up. But wait a minute. I do. I, I know you're trying to wrap up something, but instead of it being a one-way conversation, there's some things that I needed to know. Okay. I know you said you came from Cincinnati. You yes, know, sir. You, you, how, how long was it before you came out here? Like, how long have you been in? in, in I came to L.A. I came to California in a singing group in 92. So you you're sing? vocalist. I mean, I can sing, but I'm not a singer. You know what I mean? And now let me tell you a quick oh, story so about gonna this. We're going to make a singing dance group. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can blow, nigga. That's I'm that, ready. Right. Let's get it. Let's get it. We got yeah, talent yeah, now. Like, <laughs> but, uh, but this is what happened. Basically, we was a group in Cincinnati. We was going around. We was like doing talent shows. We yeah. were really good. Then there was a group called The Fellas who was singing, and they was really dope. Yeah. And you know, at the end of the day, Cincinnati back in the 80s and 90s, you really couldn't do too much as a dancer. Right. It was like whatever. you know. And it, that's why when the movie Break It came out, it kind of like it fueled us. Few, yeah. So we was like, if we took the singing and the dancing and merged it, Oh my God! Imagine right. so that's when New Edition was like popping all and all that stuff. Yeah, we was like running. so we mimicked what we saw, but then put the dance grooves with the group, and it took us to a whole nother level because yeah. we could really dance. And then we had three guys that would put KC to shame, um, do with the falsetto, you know, like do. So we came out here and we got a deal. We got a deal with Giant Records. They moved us out here. We were staying at Academy Village, went to New York, Chicago, recorded an album. Kenny was pictures. running Giant Records. We was there with Mo Cassandra Austin, Mills. his son, was from. Uh, uh, from uh, Warner Brothers. I was friends with uh, the Marcus, but he died, the dude that ran uh, okay. Giant Records. Yes, yeah, His I dad was the CEO of Warner Brothers, which okay. is my wife's uh, uh, godfather. Did you know he Cassandra know. Mills? Huh? Did you ever need to know the name Cassandra no, Mills? but I knew who, I knew who was run, who was okay, over yeah, the yeah. Giant See, Sandra, I was in the music business. Say that again? I was, I, I, that's yeah, where I've been hiding in the yeah. music business. So, so we do, when we came in, she had just became like president or vice president of Giant Records. Yeah. Okay. So she came down and saw us perform and she was like, I love them. They're like yeah. five Bobby Browns. Yeah, she signed us, tight. gave us a deal. You know, we did our thing and we had some good stuff going on. We got, we had a script to New Jack City before the movie came out because yeah, we were okay. supposed to be um, color me bad. We yeah. was going. We was the group yeah, yeah, that was yeah, supposed yeah. to do color me bad. Color me bad got signed, and then they got our slot. So oh, it was like. Wow. So then the next movie that came out was um, uh, Class Act with Kid and Play. Yeah, so okay. our group performed on the stage. If you remember that movie, there was yeah. a group that was singing a song called Body with the box Boxing, and the box blood, all this yeah. shit. You know, yellow, yellow and black. So we performed in that movie. So we was we was doing our thing, and then we got dropped. So in, in the process of getting dropped, everybody started going back home. Right. I had the talent to dance, and I was like, I'm not going back home. You wasn't home. giving up. Yeah. I wasn't giving up. So I stayed out here, and that's what it all led to today. You know what I mean? So, But that's that's what got me out here. But I've been out here since 92. I came out a couple of times before that just trying to get the feel of California, and we were trying to get a deal. But actually living out here was like 92, 93 is when I actually okay. like my, was like, I live in L.A. now, and I was like never going back. Yeah, 92, so, 93. That's why I was asking what time did you come out here to do some things because 1991, that's when, uh, you know, they got this Tommy the Clown thing. I actually put that on on blast here in L.A. I'm the one who started that. Oh, is you that was right? Tommy the Clown? I'm the one who was the clown dancer before there was a Tommy the Clown. Ha. Huh. Tommy the Clown got his, his, there's a dude called, and he was actually at the thing you was at, the magician that jumped on the stage, Dorian the Magician. T- t- Dorian the Magician, when we seen each other, when we was at the, okay, yeah, uh, at yeah, the yeah. Soul, Taste of Soul. Right, right. The parade thing. Yes. On that same stage that Tommy Clown was there, there was a magician there. His name is Dorian the Magician. He's okay. A, he's my he's my boy, and I always look the way I look. I either look like I'm a bum or I look like I'm I got some change, but I'm not really worried about the image as much as most people are. Right. But so uh, he did uh, Tommy the Clown's cousin's thing as a as a magician, and I was hired as the dancer. So we was doing like a magic and mind match. Right, right, and, right. Uh, I I have sound system. I've always had sound system. Mm-hmm. So. What you call it had a little green zim, zim, and he came up to him, man, how can I get paid doing this? I'm like, dude, you don't have to be the one who can dance. I told him the secret. All you do is dress up, there's a costume, and you let the kids dance among themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he put in that in 1991. That's when I stopped coming around because I had my girl got her pregnant in Summerdina, which I live at right now. Mm-hmm. And he, he said, that, oh, yeah, this bum told me how to get started. I was the bum. Wow. Because I, I never put teeth in my right, mouth. I right. don't care about that. And he was like, man, this dude was just rolling. He's good, but he was like, he was... 
smart, but he just moved. I was that bum who told him how to get the, the whole thing. Wow. Crazy. And, and, crazy. Uh, it was called clown dancing first, then he turned to yeah. bug dancing, and yeah. then he turned to crump. Right. So all those things that went, but it started with clown dancing. Not only yeah. did they put the clowns on, it was just, the, and the clowning in the, in the streets for L.A. is, I would turn you out. I would, I would make fun right, of you. Right, right. I'm going so to clown, clown you. you. I'm going to be good. Exactly. Or I'll, I'll joke like I'm you to show you that right. this is what you could do, but this is what I could do. Right. So that's where that came up. That's why the kids, when they first get in a circle, they do the cypher battle because they're trying to say, I'll out clown you. I'll, right. I'll make you look silly trying to go against me, but it got more serious and stuff. Interesting. But that started in 1991. Yeah, I actually battled in one of the battles. Uh, the um, what do you what did you call it? Um, when they when they when they had at the Coliseum and uh, the Crump and Clown and all that stuff had, and they had the battles of and they had all the battles of everybody going against the other yeah, Crump. That's the Turfers. Yeah, I forgot the name of the, the event, like like Battle Zone or something like that. I can't remember. Oh, Battle Zone still. Yeah, yeah, still yeah. Goes on. Okay, yeah. So and I remember D- D- Derek, Daryl, Daryl. It was a guy that was really popular out there, and he kept on saying, "Yeah, hey, sure, you need to battle this dude in choreography." And I was like, "Okay, okay." Like I didn't know because I was just supposed to be in it. it Only names of the people in choreography I can. I actually dropped was yours. I knew you was a choreographer. I mm-hmm. like I don't I'm being in LA as a dancer, right. going to choreographers ball and stuff. Right. I did not know really I didn't understand what a choreographer mean. When people first say okay. choreography, yeah. Okay. When they first say choreography to me, I thought that just mean they was a dancer. Right, I didn't know right. that mean they was teaching other people right, how to right, stand right. in line. I didn't right. I didn't get that. So I just got like you hear a dancer? Oh he a choreographer. What's that mean? Well he's he dances with <laughs> right. this, he dances with these other people right. and then he's showing what to do. Oh he a teacher, like a right. workshop teacher. Yeah, That's what yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. No. So so you, Shane Sparks was a dancer choreographer. <laughs> right, right. Uh, that dude called uh Dave Scott. Dave Scott, yeah. Uh, and yeah. uh Row I didn't know like Roro. I met Roro and them later. I didn't know them as a dancer. I, th- I thought they were just dancers trying to learn how to do it. I didn't know they was choreographers for yeah, nobody. Yeah, I Ro. met them and I got another story yeah, for meeting them. But, but, but I mean, I, I, my, my introduction to you was from Free, who right. I knew was saying, I, and look, I was teaching, I'm working with Free. I'm teaching him some moves. Right. I'm inspiring. You know what I'm saying? Right. So he was a dancer to me too. And right. he, I, he didn't explain to me, I'm a choreographer. This means I'm taking it for you and I'm going to give it to them to look like this. Right. I, I just thought he was like, I would take this, I'm going to do a workshop. Right, you know right, 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 right. So to right. me, it was dancer, dance teacher. Right, I right, know. right. See, that's how uneducated I am. I, no, I don't know what choreography is. It's all good. I'm going to tell you, when I first moved out here, they said they were going to take you to a hip hop class. When I grew up, we didn't call it dancing hip hop. We right. was just. What's up? Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. So we didn't we didn't call it hip hop. We was called it street dancing, or we like you said, we was popping and stuff like that. So they're like, won't you go see a hip hop class? I was like, what's the hip hop class? And it's funny because I'm so known for hip hop, but that's not what I called it. Right. So I walked in there, and saw this dude teaching class, yeah, and I saw him. I was like, oh, so he's just teaching choreography, he just yeah. taking dance moves, putting it together. So that's yeah. that's what y'all call hip hop out here. I say, okay, but I feel you on that because I did, we was just street dancers, man. We yeah. we went from we went from grooving, yes, hey, hey, hey movie, hey, what that, grooving. What, what then, the then we went, and then it could switch up to so we just dance. You what know the what I mean? Political ter- the political the the political correct ter- term for what to give it a professional name? Your hip hop choreographers. Well, really, it's just your Black dance or whatever yeah, you want to yeah, call it. Yeah, yeah, black dance. Yeah, street, street, yeah, street dance. Yeah, street dance. We call it street dance. That's before, it. Before y'all cover y'all, is that when I was doing this dance, what y'all call pop locking or whatever, this dance was created by inner city black youth in Oakland. Right. With no other race is doing this. Right. And when we was doing the shows with no other race, to see where this dance have gone today, it's, it's like crazy. Yeah. Where yeah. I'm seeing people all over the world. Yeah. You know, because there was a point to where I, when I was doing the dance up there, they, and you start doing it at a party. Oh, that's ancient. You know, it got old to us up there. You know, when we do it at a party or something. I'm still, I'm still mad. And for the record, you can try to go. I got to go, Shane. Off, you got to go. We're we're already okay. out. Okay. Hey. I want my dance lesson. You should have put that on there. I want my dance lesson, nigga. I'm trying to get the sexy girl. I want my dance lesson, too. That nigga, got, that nigga is like dance a, lesson. That nigga's bad when it comes to but his hip-hop movie when he go to move. Say it again. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me, okay, okay. I, okay, I'm letting yeah. you know that right now. I'm coming for my dance lesson, nigga. All right, and I'm, I'm coming for mine, too, because I want to do it. Yeah, sit bad. I want like all of that. Because you got to hit me with all that. So, yo, we're about to close it out. Y'all, I'd like to thank y'all, too, for coming in, man. This was beautiful. Thank you, brother. Andre, what's your real name, Dre? It's Andre Diamond. Andre That's Diamond. My real name. That's Diamond crazy. Is what everybody call him in the street, but Bop is the best way for dancers. Exactly. Bop and Andre. What's your real name? Dan Martin. Dan Dan Martin? Uh, AKA Buddha Bop. Buddha Bop and Shane Sparks. I don't have a nickname, but. What's your real name? Shane Sparks. That's it. Shane, Shane Sparks. Sparks. That's Melvin Shane name, Sparks. Man. That sounds like a big time producer. Name, name, no, I never have. When I was little, they called me Sir Shock because I used to always oh, do that shock, shock and stuff because of, you know, yeah, you know Turbo. I mean, not Turbo, but Pop and Taco. Is it Sparks or? Sparks. S P A R K. So you know Mark Sparks? I know. Yeah. I don't know. 
I just, Mark I know him, but I don't know if you know any kid. About, right? I know exactly. Yeah. Everybody asked me the Jordan Sparks, Mark Sparks. They were like, yeah. yeah. I was like, I don't know, maybe because. Like, but yeah, we out here. Shea yeah. Sparks played the dance. Yo, E, I know you're listening. I hope you like that show. That's what's up. Yo, Larry, get Much at love, me. E. Let's get it. Let me go.